other thing is we got the number one fans in the country. And I'm not kidding about that, you know? Number one fans, and I'm gonna promise you this, that we're gonna have the number one team, too. All right. Tom Benson became front page news in New Orleans when he purchased the Saints in 1985, ensuring the NFL franchise would stay in the Crescent City. The determined and successful businessman immediately began the hard work on turning a woeful franchise into one of the very best in the NFL. He started the process by hiring Jim Finks as general manager and Jim Mora as coach. He treated me beautifully in my 10 and a half years here. I have no complaints. He was great. Starts with ownership. I had one day I was sitting around when I first got in the league as a head coach. I was sitting in an airport with Marty Schottenheimer. He says, you know the three most important things for a head coach in the NFL? I said, no, what? He said, number one is owner, number two is owner, and number three is owner. The Saints reached unprecedented heights with Tom Benson, Finks, and Mora, securing the franchise's first winning season, division title, and playoff appearance. Following a brief dip with Mike Ditka as coach, the franchise won its first playoff game following the 2000 season under coach Jim Haslett. Aslett and the Saints parted ways following the Hurricane Katrina season, which forced the team temporarily to San Antonio. But Tom Benson and GM Mickey Loomis quickly made two decisions that set the franchise on a winning path, hiring Sean Payton as coach and signing free agent quarterback Drew Brees. Tom Benson, uh, our great owner, um, will, I think, forever have um, a pretty unbelievable legacy in New Orleans. Um, I think from where he's taken this team in the mid 80s to where we are now, um, certainly over the last 12 years since um, I know I've been here and, and my experience with him, I cannot think of a better owner. Someone who wants to win more than he does. Someone who's willing to sacrifice and give to the team whatever it takes to be able to uh, put us in the best position to succeed. Whatever we've needed, um, he has, he has um, done whatever possible and provided us with a, those resources and that support. And uh, above and beyond that, he's a person for me that always has had an open door policy, you know, where I know that I can always go and talk to him and he has given me many bits of advice um, over my career here. And I appreciate that very much, almost like a grandfatherly influence um, in addition to you know, the owner of our team. So a man who I have a tremendous amount of respect for. New Orleans was able to reap the dividends of Tom Benson's investments in the team when the Saints defeated the Colts to win Super Bowl 44. There's not a more memorable sight from that game than the Saints owner lifting the Lombardi Trophy high into the South Florida night sky. His faith and the faith of Saints fans everywhere had been rewarded. When I came back to New Orleans, uh, he immediately invited me to some of the games, and of course, I came back the year of the Super Bowl. <laughs> so it was a great time to come back, and he told me that I had to go to the Super Bowl, and I said, Mr. B, I'll be glad to go. However, I'm gonna be in Austin for an ordination because my successor had not yet been named. And he says, wherever you are, we'll pick you up. We'll make sure you get there. So it was a glorious time to be able to share the Super Bowl with, with him, with Tom and Gail, and with all the great Saints fans. So he really is a friend. He's someone that we talk about faith. We talk about God. He shares his faith life with me. And I feel very privileged to be able to have heard some of the things that he said about his relationship with God and also some of the questions that he has uh, about God and about the teachings of the church. I feel very humbled to be able to be uh, a close friend of his. Tom Benson and his wife Gail made many public donations to the Cancer Center at Oshner that bears their name, to Team Gleason, to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But the Bensons made countless more that very few know about. But even going further, when my father got cancer and was sick, Tom Benson personally called my mother and said, and, and called Ochsner and told them, whatever, whatever hook he needs, I got it. So that to me was even more important. 
But when you look at the city, you can't deny what this team did to bring the city back from Katrina and the leadership and the heart, and that comes from ownership. I think the reality is Mr. Benson has touched the most people's lives in some way in this city. Um, you know, I was driving down River Road the other day past the Gail and Tom Benson Cancer Wing at Oshner Hospital. I think it has been, certainly since I've been here, and as Mr. Benson has gotten older, uh, it's important to him uh, to take care of the city um, that I think he has found, you know, so special. Um, and it's, it's nice to get, to let people see that side of him. I think as players, we've always been taken care of by Mr. B. Um, we've always been a part of that, of a guy that, that is looking out for some other people. Mr. Benson was looking out for his city once again in 2012 when he bought the Ben Hornets from the NBA, ensuring that NBA basketball would remain in New Orleans. Mr. Benson was able to provide us with numerous things since I've been here, a world-class practice facility, uh, renovated the um, arena, Smoothie King Center, and um, you know he, he's done anything and everything possible that he can to put us in a position to win. Um, he even let us, while I was planning to go visit Drew, uh, when Drew and his wife was going through a tough time. Um, so things like that that uh, some owners probably would never do, Mr. Benson made sure that he went uh, above and beyond uh, to make sure that we were, as players and the organization, was happy. Well, I think when you look at uh, what he and Mrs. Benson has done for this city and this state, uh, you, you can take, you know, everything from Oshner and what they do with them and uh, cancer treatment and everything uh, that he has to have to help this city. And if you can go to Tulane University and look at the football field and, I mean, just everything that needs to be done, uh, they're so willing to do it uh, from a charitable standpoint. Uh, there's, I, I don't think there's anybody in the state could even come close uh, to doing what they've done uh, as a couple and as a family. So uh, we're lucky to have him and Mrs. B uh, and what they do for this city and what they do for this state because I think they just add so much uh, to the things that need to be done here and to make it a better place to live. In addition to making New Orleans a better place to live, Mr. Benson also thought of the NFL and its retired players when he made a sizable donation to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, I think he's been a very strong owner. And I think he's had, uh, you know, I think he's a guy who's led uh, a lot. I think other owners, and I know Commissioner Goodell has a lot of respect for him. And uh, I think that he's, you know, done a number of things that have kind of, uh, you know, made the league more financially sound in many respects. Uh, I think he's, helped in terms of, uh, you know, revenue sharing and, you know, the things that have happened there. Being a, you know, New Orleans is not a big market. <laughs> and yet he's done a wonderful job of selling out the Superdome every game. And, um, you know, the New Orleans Saints, you know, are a legendary team. You know, that, you know, when they go to Atlanta or they go to San Francisco, uh, you know, people know about the Saints. And I, that's really come from Tom Benson. Uh, you know, when he bought the team, you know, it was, you know, uh, you know, another team in the NFL. But he's brought so many Super Bowls to New Orleans. And I think New Orleans, to me, is kind of the ultimate Super Bowl town. And uh, all of that has been Mr. Benson's doing.